Welcome viewers and this audience to the World Transformation Movement. My name is Jeremy Griffith. I'm an Australian biologist. Well, how you may well ask, is the World Transformation Movement going to transform your life and not only your life, but the lives of every human on Earth and by so doing transform the world? The answer is by solving the underlying real core problem in all of human life of the human condition. What is the human condition? It arises from our species capacity for what's been called good and evil. Humans are capable of great kindness and love, but we're also capable of horrific atrocities like, like, like rape and, and murder and torture. So a, a human predicament or, or condition has been that because we've never been able to explain and thus understand where our species capacity for shocking acts of inhumanity comes from, we carry a deep, now almost subconscious insecurity and sense of guilt about our value and worth as humans. I mean, are we good or are we bad? And, and, and even in our everyday behavior, why are we humans competitive, aggressive and selfish when clearly the ideals are to be the complete opposite, namely cooperative, loving and selfless? Now, I know we are sometimes told that we humans are wired this way, that, that we are competitive, aggressive and selfish because of our animal heritage that we have um, savage animal instincts that make us fight and compete for, for food, shelter, territory and a mate. But, but that's just the excuse we've had to use until we found the real reason for our divisive behaviour. For a start, it conveniently overlooks the fact that our human behaviour involves our unique, fully conscious thinking mind. I mean, descriptions of our behaviour like, like egocentric, um, arrogant, deluded, optimistic, pessimistic, artificial, hateful, um, mean, immoral, evil, depressed, inspired, um, psychotic, alienated, all imply a psychological dimension to our behavior. So the, the real issue, the psychological problem in our thinking minds that we suffer from is the dilemma of our human condition. The issue of our species, good and evil afflicted, less than ideal, imperfect, um, even fallen or, or corrupted state. We humans suffer from a consciousness-derived psychological human condition, not an instinct-derived stimulus and response animal condition. It's unique to us. Now, the truth is we, we've all... We have always known intuitively that the real problem we have to understand about ourselves is the human condition. The difficulty has been that unable to explain the dark side of ourselves, we have coped by putting the issue out of our minds because to think about it was, was far too depressing and until now an answerless and, and thus futile exercise. Indeed, I've heard the human condition described as the personal unspeakable and, and as the black box inside of humans that they can't go near, which gives you some indication of how traumatic a subject it has been for us. Now, what has occurred to completely change this situation is that through the advances that have been made in science, it's now possible for this fearful, historically unbearable, deepest and darkest, previously off-limits issue of the human condition to finally be explained and understood. We can at last explain why we humans have not been ideally behaved. To use um, religious terms, we can explain the origin of sin. And, and what's so wonderful, in fact so wonderful, it will transform your life and the lives of all humans, is that the explanation is compassionate. It explains that there's been a good reason for why we humans have not been ideally behaved. It's, it, it's an explanation that completely dignifies and redeems us. It, it reconciles um, the opposites of good and evil in our natures and by so doing makes us whole. I mean. The great psychoanalyst Carl Jung was forever saying wholeness for humans depends on the ability to own their own shadow because he recognised that only by finding understanding of the dark side of ourselves could we humans be made whole. And although it's an incredible claim, it's that all liberating and, and all redeeming and all healing and that's all transforming biological understanding of our imperfect human condition that's about to be presented that greatest of all days in our human journey of conscious thought and inquiry 
In fact, the day we have lived in, as we say, hope and faith and trust would one day come when biology would finally be able to explain the psychological origins of our species' deeply double, troubled um, predicament or, or condition has now, and, and in the nick of time, I'd say, arrived. I know there's been much urgent talk of the need to love each other and the love to love the environment, but the, but the real need on Earth has been to love the dark side of ourselves, to find redeeming, ameliorating, healing understanding of that. And it's precisely that all-important understanding of ourselves that's going to be presented. The, the, the world is, is in desperate straits, and I know all kinds of superficial treatments about a stressed human situation proliferate, but, but superficial treatments won't do it. I mean, socialist, politically correct, um, left-wing, dogmatic insistence on ideal behaviour or, or one of those think-positive, motivational, new-age courses or, or stop-your-mind-thinking meditation or even one of the more recent Just Transcend Your Ego fads were never going to bring real and lasting peace and happiness to humans. Only ameliorating understanding of the human condition could and now does achieve that. In fact, Solving the underlying problem in all of human life of the human condition brings about such an incredible transformation in human life that, that you and, and, and everyone else in the world will be taken from an effectively dead existence. And in truth, as we're going to see, all human lives have been so horribly oppressed by the agony of the human condition um, that they have been effectively dead to an existence that is utterly alive, enthralled with all of life and drenched with excitement about what's going to occur now indeed what is already occurring because if you if you watch the affirmations you'll see people whose lives have been transformed by understanding of the human condition like um, Neil Dunn's um, saying the freedom this brings is like nothing humans have ever experienced and Stacy Roger this is all that we have ever ever wanted and Doug Lobin I'm just so excited I can't sleep I'm about to burst and Tony Gowing, this is like seeing the world for the first time. It's like waking up from a nightmare. It's like a hundred tons being lifted off your shoulders. And John Biggs, the relief and, and through the roof excitement that flows through your veins is incredible. It is beyond comprehension how much wonder and fun and excitement and happiness that a human race has coming. Yes, this is the most exciting moment in human history when humanity is finally liberated from the agony of the human condition and transformed to an utterly magnificent human condition free existence. Indeed, to introduce the next brief question and answer introduction to the World Transformation Movement, I'll play the most esteemed, the most highly regarded piece of music ever written, because it provides the most powerful illustration possible of how fabulously transforming of your life and of everyone's life the finding of understanding of the human condition is.